a part of the world consumed by war. One nation's warriors stand apart. We move toward the enemy, we attack, we initiate the combat. Every day is a desperate fight for survival. Surrender is never an option. It's uh, countries that surrendered by enemies that are uh, constantly in fighting. The bitter experience of deadly combat has forged Israel's commandos into the most honed fighting force on the planet. The Israel Defense Force has over 40 elite units. The message is simple. <laughs> Don't mess with the IDF. It's time to go ballistic. The Israeli military have their own unique systems of hand-to-hand -hand combat. These date back to the birth of the nation. A young Palmach warrior called Emmy Lichtenfeld developed his own practical combat system. The system was called Krav Maga. It became the basis for all Israel Defense Forces hand-to-hand -hand fighting. Emi Lichtenfeld was a genius. He came from Slovakia to Israel and he came from the background of uh, wrestling and uh, boxing. He put together, uh, to the best of his knowledge, the techniques that are um, the traditional Krav Maga. Krav means fight, Maga means contact. And it's a term uh, that uh, was created for, uh, to describe all the hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques for the for military use and Krav Maga attack is the best form of defense kicking punching butting and gouging nothing is too brutal straightforward no nonsense you can do Kung Fu but you need years and years and years of training to become should we say efficient in it and uh, Krav Maga you can be taught in, in a short period how to defend yourself <laughs> Guns, knives, chairs, baseball bats, anything can be used as a weapon. The main idea is that we always assume that the other person is much bigger and stronger than you. Adrenaline is rushing, you, your legs are shaking and you have to work from that angle. Moni Isaac is a martial arts champion and the founder of a form of Krav Maga created specially for commandos. In 1973, after Yom Kippur War, uh, I was uh, in elite commando unit that was um, basically, most of the uh, members got killed. And um, I was uh, chosen to uh, continue the work on the development of the Krav Maga to the elite units. The Israel Defense Force wanted a review of Krav Maga as part of the shakeup after the near disaster of Yom Kippur. Moni's martial arts expertise and recent commando combat experience made him the perfect candidate. He teamed up with the godfather of Krav Maga, Emi Lichtenfeld. We experiment with the Krav Maga techniques, but with some other techniques that I knew because I came from a very rich background of uh, Jiu-Jitsu and Judo. Uh, I was a champion of Israel many times. And I understood the biomechanic of the move and I started to develop my own techniques. Moni stripped back Krav Maga principles even further for commandos. The main key when somebody put a gun to the side of your head is to be able to move out of the line of fire. I'm using the blade of my hand, keeping my hand very close to my ear and use the blade of my head to push the gun out of the line of fire. At that stage, this hand is trapping the gun, this hand trapping the wrist. The gun is going to be twisting to him with 20% power. My hand that's holding the wrist is going to pull with 80% power. And I'll have the gun in my hand. Don't come on! Yes! 
Commando Krav Maga is the essence of Israeli commando fighting principles. Hit and hit hard. Knock your enemy off balance and then break contact. Engage as fast as possible and disengage immediately. If you stay there and try to punish the attacker, he can pull a knife all of a sudden. I'm blocking it from the inside and now holding the hand very close to the knife. From this position, I'm going to pull up here and turning the hand down. As I'm doing that, I'm locking my hands together. And he's going to pull for sure. He's leaving the knife in my hand. And I have in my hand the knife.